Hey there, I'm Zachary, Zachary Lombardo, pro player for the Dallas Fuel, and today I'll be showing you some tips for Ash. Ash is a very unique character. She has two modes of fire, unlike most characters. So her default mode of fire is just a fast, low damage cap fire, while her second mode of fire is more of like a sniper shot. So when you zoom in, it does bonus damage, but it takes a longer time to shoot. So when you're playing Ash, you want to know when you actually want to be using the faster shot and the more damage shot. The most important thing with Ash is knowing when to use which fire mode. So when targets are much closer, you're going to want to use the uh, faster but less damage fire mode. So you can do a lot more damage and eliminate enemies faster. But when they're further away, you'll want to use the scoped in more sniper shot to deal more damage. A very cool thing about Ash's damage numbers is when she's using her scoped in sniper shot, when she has a damage boost from a friendly mercy, it does enough damage to one shot a 200 HP enemy. So make sure you're always partnered with a mercy when you're playing Ash. So now straying away from fire modes, we'll talk about Ash's abilities. So Ash's main damage is her dynamite, and her dynamite does, a, I believe, 75 damage on impact and 100 with a burn over time. So dynamite is very effective when you can get it on multiple enemies at a time, but it's not always the easiest to get it on them, especially in this meta with a lot of big shields and tanky characters. You can utilize Ash's dynamite a lot easier by shooting it when it's in the air and throwing it over shields. That'll cause it to instantly explode and get the people that you want it to get. So another quick tip for Ash. A lot of times it feels a little bit hard to hit the dynamite when it's in the air, but after practicing for a little bit, it'll be a lot easier. You can always just throw it and then use your main tap fire as fast as you can and it'll instantly hit it without having to move your crosshair at all. So Ash's second ability, the coach gun, is more of a movement ability. It's pretty much the same as Lucio's boop, except it does more damage and it's on a higher cooldown. So the coach gun can effectively move Ash backwards or upwards, so it's very useful to get high ground. Or if there's a target like Genji diving you, you can use it to get away. So let's say this Genji player dashes on me. I can dash up and away from him and get a clear shot on him afterwards. And now for everybody's favorite part about Ash, her ultimate, Bob. Bob is one of the hardest ultimates to use in the game because there's no real clear game plan you can have with Bob. You can do a lot of different things. Most people, when you think of ults, it's like Zarya. You're just trying to get as many people as you can in it. But with Bob, there's a lot of different things you can do. So Bob is pretty much just a big sentry turret. When you use Ash's ult, he'll throw out like that. And then if he hits anybody, you'll throw them up in the air like a, like a boot. And then he's just gonna be shooting for 10 seconds afterwards. So in order to get as much value out of Bob as you possibly can, you're gonna wanna put him in positions where he can shoot as many people as he can and not really get easily targeted by the other team. So for example, getting Bob on high grounds where he can see things. So, on top of the gas station. But you see how Bob can't really aim over here? You can actually move your Bob by walking into him, and then he'll be able to shoot targets that are over on other areas. While Bob does a lot of damage, he can also be used more to contest payload, or stand on the objective. Since Bob does count as another character in the game, he can contest cart, so in those sticky overtime situations where you don't want to step off the cart in C9 or lose the map because you're not contesting, you can throw your Bob on the payload and he'll count as a player that will contest the payload and pretty much buy you time for everybody on your team to come back. Another thing that's unique about Bob is he essentially acts as another player on your team. So characters like Mercy or Ana can use their abilities on him. So for example, Sir Harry Hook, when Bob comes out, is able to damage boost or heal him and the enemy team can't actually get ult charge from dealing damage to him. So in general, for, for playing Ash, you wanna make sure that you're in high ground positions where the enemy team can't really contest you, and you can always constantly get good angles to throw your dynamite. Just make sure that you're always paired with your Mercy player or another support character that can protect you because when Ash is getting damage amped by any sort of damage amp ability in the game, she does an insane amount of damage and can pretty much just dismantle teams without them being able to touch her. So those are my tips for Ash. Since there's not much information out there other than this, 
I hope these tips help you out in whatever you're playing as Ash, whether it's quick play, ranked, or the arcade. Thanks for watching.